Professor Oshitani, thank you for speaking with us. My pleasure. Um, you just attended, in fact, you chaired the first yes. session of the International Symposium on Influenza Pandemics in Asia. Mm -hmm. And it was an all-day event. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of papers were read, very interesting, all of them. What was your impression? What was the most impressive lessons learned that you got out of the forum? As you know, the, we experienced the pandemic H1N1 in 2009, last year. And uh, we learned a lot of lessons from this pandemic. Uh, particularly, the, we need the multi-sectoral approach for pandemic, the response. Uh, we need to involve many different the partners and uh, different sectors. And in this uh, symposium, we discuss the, the pandemic issue from different perspectives, including a non-traditional security perspective, global health, global governance perspective. So we need to look at uh, this issue from different perspective. And uh, this uh, the symposium was quite uh, useful and important the forum to discuss the pandemic issue from different perspectives. You mentioned global governance. Uh, mm. Can you can you speak in more detail about that? The, we need a global mechanism to respond to the global outbreak, like a pandemic. But uh, we still do not have uh, the good global governance or global mechanism to respond to the, the global pandemic, global outbreaks. The, the international health regulation was revised after the SARS outbreak 2003. But uh, the, this international health regulation still doesn't have the, the, the doesn't provide the, the powerful tool the, as a global governance mechanism. So we need a better mechanism to, to protect the world from the, the global outbreaks. What, what do you think it needs? Uh, more money? More political will from uh, governments? The, I think the most important thing is uh, the, the global will to protect global health. And uh, there's still many countries that are taking the, the, the me first approach, the, uh, which is uh, to protect their own country. But uh, we have to have a more the, the broad perspective to protect the world. In this increasingly interdependent world, yes. we do need each other. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think we should be doing ahead? I know you mentioned global governance, but um, uh, how do we move forward? Uh, we, have the, we have learned a lot of lessons from uh, the previous outbreaks, including the uh, 2009 pandemic and also the SARS outbreak in 2003. So we have uh, many the lessons. And we have to utilize these lessons to the, the build better mechanism. What about the public? What about informing the public? That's, that's uh, the one of the most important lessons that we learned from the previous uh, the outbreaks, uh, like, uh, including uh, the pandemic 2009 and the, the, the SARS in 2003. The public is very important. The public has very important role in implementing the various control measures. Without the, the acceptance of the public, we cannot implement the most of the measures. So, but the, we need to inform them properly. And uh, still there is uh, the gap in terms of uh, the risk communication or the communicating with the public. And uh, we also need to have a better the system or better mechanism to communicate with the public. And um, all this time, mm -hmm. it has been the government or international organizations being involved. What kind of role can private organizations like the Sasakawa Peace Foundation play in this effort? The, 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 since the, the, the pandemic and other the global outbreaks has a different aspect. And uh, we have to look at the, this issue from different perspective, the, the, the regional perspective and also the private sector perspective. So in that sense, the, the role of the non-governmental organization like uh, the Sasaga Peace Foundation is quite important 
uh, to look at this issue from different perspective and to get the, the people from the, the different fields uh, like at uh, today's symposium. Thank you very much, Professor. Thank you very much.